So in this video, I'm going to show you what's in my wardrobe. For any of you who watch my channel regularly, you know that I have hurt my wrist. I was mooch docking for a couple of weeks at my stepdad's until it could heal to the point where I felt like I could drive some longer distances. And then I arranged things so that I could be at base camp until it heals. Also, a lot is happening in our world right now, and all of this seems rather trivial in comparison. But if you're anything like me, you may need an escape from all the news and all of that. So I thought I'd make this video anyway, and it might be a little bit of an escape. It was for me to make it. I was able to do something that I normally wouldn't do to answer the question that Jackie had about what I wear. I'm not about to pull all of that out in the desert or in the woods somewhere and try to film it. So it was easier for me while I'm in a stable place to do that. And also took the time to weed out a few things as well. I tried to be as entertaining as I could when talking about clothes. Clothes are not my subject of interest necessarily, but for any of you who might wonder, this will be that video. And everything that I own to wear, everything that I own for myself is in my van. And I have purposefully made it that way. I might keep a few things at base camp or at my stepdad's, but I wanted to be able to pick up and be in this van. It's my apartment on wheels. So I have all my clothes in here as well. And when I am somewhere that I'm gonna maybe stay for a couple days, I will just pack up my little gym bag that I have and put a few items of clothing in there like I was staying the weekends I wear and take it with me. And then if I need to change that out, I'll come back in my van, get something and do that. So this is my closet <laughs> under here and up there. As you can see, I've got my blankets out as well. This, this is a alpaca wool blanket and I just have this as an under base to protect my bedding. But then I have another wool blanket that I got for on top of that. And I am taking advantage of being where there is laundry to wash those things. Uh, so that's why this is like this, but this is how it used to be. So it's kind of fun to see it again like this. Also, I'm taking advantage of being here to receive some mail and order some things. Uh, Johnny from Johnny's Journey. I am going to be with her in a couple of weeks and she's gonna help me do some th fun things for my van. So look for that coming up in a uh, couple weeks. And I ordered this when I was at my meetup in Quartzsite. One of my Patreons who has a new channel, go check her out, Blue Wonder Lady. She has a really cool setup in her van that uses this mount. She has created a way to put a table that is a beautiful shape that she uses for everything and was able to put this in various places around her van so that she can use that same piece in different locations. So I'm also going to see what I can do with this. I may need more, but I don't think so. My, uh, my space is pretty small, so I think with this, I should be able to have different locations where I can easily mount a tabletop. So that is something that's gonna be coming up as well. So without further ado, I shall begin showing you what I typically wear. In fact, you're gonna see my whole dang wardrobe. It's pretty boring because I, as you can see, I am like not into style. I'm into practical, functional comfort. So let's get to it.
you the talk about my undergarments, except to show you a few pieces that are basic and comfortable, go under everything, and you get the idea. But I did want to talk about this in particular, that are for winter, that go underneath your garments. There are a few brands that make them. This one said that it was a thermal piece and it had the top and the bottom that went with it. What I like is that it's very thin and stretchy. I don't know if you can see that, almost see-through. But, and it looks like it would be too small, but once you get it on, it grips your body and it really does have that thermal effect. So I just wanted to mention it. I don't have this brand name, but there are Cuddle Duds and other ones. There are, the Cuddle Duds seem to be a little thicker, but that's what I'm wearing now. So I just wanted to mention these pieces as undergarments. Then I do layer and so you will see the pieces that I have that are like this, right? They're little strappies, but then they cover your torso as well. So I like them because they can be worn, again, under things and just by themselves as well if it's hot outside or to sleep in. So I like that, that I can basically take off whatever is on top and then I had this little under layer that will serve to sleep in or something like that. The next layer are shirts and tops. So I do have several of the long sleeves. I have them in round necks and v-necks and turtlenecks. Next layer up are shirts. I wear these types of shirts that can be dressed up or dressed down and it can it's thin enough that if I needed to put an even more of a layer on top of that it would go and it wouldn't start to feel bulky and out of control. I have several of these. This one very feminine looking. I like them because even when it's hot outside you can have sleeves to cover up your skin and then I have one in black as well. I also like these. They're cover-ups. That's why I have some that are lighter fabrics. If it's too hot outside I can wear this and all of these wash and dry rather quickly so I also love that about them and here's another one that is for when I am in warmer weather I just put this over one of my tank tops and I have it in gray also and one that is an absolute favorite of people's is this jacket that I have my daughter found it at TJ Maxx I believe and it was perfect for me because it is a lightweight jacket with a hood but it can be worn in the sun to shade a little bit and if there's any mosquitoes or things like that this piece i absolutely love then continuing on i will have my i have two bulkier warmer wool sweaters this is a uh, an army green one and then I have a very similar one in black and continuing on I have my blue jacket for winter and my red jacket and I love them because they pack up very tight both of them are down and so but they're thin so I wear them when it's very very cold out and they do the trick and then I have this one, obviously, and I like it because it is just a vest and I can feel like I don't have that sound when you're wearing a jacket like this all the time. And I don't like wearing these inside the van, unless it's really, really cold out. And then I do have a dress and I figure if I need to have any more dressy occasion when I'm somewhere, I can just go shopping get something but this is just a little wraparound dress that I like because again it folds easily and won't get wrinkly because of the fabric and all of my shirts are that way so I like that about them and for the bottoms I have several pairs of these they are avalanche they're from Sierra and I love them they I, I love them so much that I went back and back I kept going back until I found them again and I got them in a beige and gray 
And then I found another pair in black that are also shorts. The fabric on this is a nylon spandex. That seems to be the best type of fabric really that I have found because it doesn't get wrinkly or if it does get wrinkly, it unwrinkles very fast. And you can wash these, you can spot wash them or just get them entirely wet and they will dry very fast. So I have four pair that are the nylon spandex. I have one pair of jeans <laughs> and I have a pair of khaki pants that are a cotton lyocell and spandex. So these do get wrinkly when they're folded up, but then once I am out in any kind of weather with them, they unwrinkle very fast. So I never have to deal with that. So that is how I layer and that is how I roll. I also have a bag like this and this has my bathing suits in them. I have several one pieces, several bikinis that, and a rash guard. So depending where I am, I can pick accordingly. And that is what I do for that. Then I have my shoes. So I have these sandals, which are very flexible and I will leave the brand. I forget, they're like one of those brands that are earthing type of shoes. And they're comfortable, but they're not as practical as I thought they would be. They market them as being able to hike and stuff in them. And I, I tried it once and it, it didn't feel very sure footed or anything. So I, I would wear them, but uh, more actually as a dress sandal or something uh, than what it was made for. And then I have these. I wear these like I wear my boots every other time of the year when I don't need boots because they are very comfortable, very practical, very grippy. You can hike in them, you can just wear them. They're awesome. They were awesome in the desert when everybody else was getting sand and yuck in their shoes. I wore these every single day and took them off. My feet were clean. They are wonderful. Vivo Barefoot, I highly recommend this brand. And I have these, which are river shoes. These are the shoes that I got lost for four hours because I just thought I was going to the river for a swim and ended up taking a wrong turn and got lost. And I was only wearing these and they still look great. My feet didn't hurt at all. I could walk in the water and out of the water over rocks and it didn't slide and it didn't hurt my foot. Like obviously if I stepped on something very sharp, I wouldn't trust this, but there is a brand. I just ordered them. They haven't arrived yet. I was hoping they would arrive before I did this video, but they're basically socks like this, but they're for hiking because the sole is a little bit thicker and it's made to go over any terrain and not get your foot uh, hurt underneath your sole of your feet. So I am very curious to uh, wear those and see if they work because I have always been a person to go barefoot, which is ever since I was little, I just loved being barefoot rather than anything else. And I like shoes that help me to feel like I'm barefoot. And even these, which don't have any support, I really like. Many of you have asked about these. These are blunt stone. I got them because two of my daughters who used to live on a farm and work every day, they swore by these. They said you can get them wet. They dry quickly. I love them. It has proven true for me. So I would highly recommend these as well. They're very expensive, but I figure that if I buy a good pair of shoes and they last me, it's worth what money I spent to get them. That is it. I hope you have enjoyed seeing what is in my closet. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.